Hello, my name is Carla Badillo Urquiola and I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Central Florida. Today I will be presenting research I conducted with my mentor, Dr. Pamela Wesneski, and our collaborators, Dr. Zara Ashtarab and Dr. Jessica Vitek, on how users felt about the launch of Facebook Reactions. Facebook's like button is one of the most recognizable icons associated with the social web and was one of the first features that allowed users to socially engage with friends by just a click of a button. In 2015, Facebook announced the launch of Facebook Reactions, an expansion of their like button which included five additional emotional responses. At the time, Zuckerberg described it as a more expressive like button and that it was the result of many people over the years requesting more nuanced ways to interact with posts. Our team was interested in studying whether the design of reactions was truly a solution that met users' expectations. Therefore, we asked the following research questions. Does the design of Facebook reactions align with existing theories of human emotions? How did Facebook users evaluate this new feature? Did their appraisals change between anticipated and actual use of reactions? And how can the reactions launch inform future research and design that interprets complex human emotions within socio-technical systems? To answer our research questions, we extracted the top 7,500 comments before and after the launch of reactions. This gave us a total of 15,000 comments. However, to feasibly code the comments manually, we scoped our dataset down to 3,000 pre and post launch top comments, 1,500 each. We then performed a heuristic evaluation of Facebook reactions by examining the new interface synthesizing the existing literature on theories of human emotion and cognitive appraisals, operationalizing these theories into a structured codebook, and using the codebook to qualitatively analyze the data set of comments. We qualitatively coded user comments deductively for emotional balance toward reactions, that is positive, negative, and unsure as well as for emotions that were expressed by Facebook users. The codebook on the left was our final mapping between theory, design, and our codes for emotion. We also included an additional code for no emotion. We also conducted a grounded thematic analysis following Braun and Clark's six-phased process. Our final codebook is on the right. Overall, we found that most comments were positively balanced toward reactions and expressed happiness as the primary human emotion. The three most prevalent themes that emerged within the positive user appraisals were excitement over the new reactions interface, preference over the alternative of having a dislike button, and appreciation over the ability to express empathy to others. About 33% of all comments were negatively balanced, meaning these Facebook users were against reactions and expressed a combination of anger and or sadness. The three themes that emerged as a rationale behind users' negatively balanced emotions were anger that Facebook did not implement a dislike button, critiques of the design of reactions, and frustration in users' lack of control and aversion to interface change. The rest of the comments were neutral or unclearly balanced about reactions. These comments mostly had no emotion or humor. Most of the comments that expressed no emotion were requests for more information, spam, or just ambivalent comparisons with the dislike button. Many of those that expressed humor, however, had a tone of sarcasm. Overall, our findings suggest that different emotional responses lead to different users appraising the same feature in very different ways. Therefore, heuristic design evaluations should leverage relevant theoretical frameworks rather than just using general UX design principles. Thank you.